Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Well, seeing as the New York vlogs are coming to an end, uh, I thought I would share with you the bits and bobs that I bought from New York. So we're gonna have a New York haul. So every time we go on a big holiday, we always allow a little budget of things that we wanna buy for ourselves. Um, so whether it be like Chris, Chris tends to buy trainers or Lego, <laughs> that's his thing. And I'm usually more about the beauty stuff. So I usually spend a shed load in Sephora or Bath and Body Works, that kind of thing. Um, and this trip has been no different. However, I went into Sephora once didn't buy anything I was not interested in makeup this time around shock horror um yeah it was just just wasn't feeling it this time but I did make a really lovely purchase at the airport which I will share with you in a second I'm so so thrilled with it so that was like my little splurge that was my bit of savings that I had and I was like right I'm gonna buy this one thing I'd actually lusted after this for a little while I'd seen it online then I saw it in person when we went to Portugal so I saw it at the airport with when I was with Kim and I was like oh, I love it I absolutely love it and then I thought to myself do you know what I might treat myself to it when we go away to New York and that's what I did so let's start with what I got at the airport okay so here is the little splurge that I had at the airport a Kurt Geiger it's a handbag so I bought myself a Kurt Geiger handbag that I'd been lusting after for a little while and it was in the sale and I decided to make it mine. Okay, so, but a backstory on this. I have loved the Gucci purple velvet Marmont, I think I'm saying that right, Marmont bag for the longest time. I've seen it for years. I've lusted after it, but it's crazy. It's like 1,500 pounds. I cannot justify spending that amount of money on a handbag. I know some people do, but to me that's like a holiday <laughs> and so I lusted after it and I thought oh, if I can find something similar then that'll do me I don't I don't need to have the Gucci marking on there or whatever anyway cut to seeing this bag online then seeing it in person and absolutely falling in love with it and thinking it's it's so similar it's scary it just hasn't got the GG on it so without further ado here is I mean, look at the color look at the color this is my new Kurt Geiger Kensington bag. So this is the Kensington in purple velvet. They do this in black velvet. You can get it in like a teal color velvet, which again is also very similar to the Gucci one that they do in a teal color. So obviously this is, this is a dupe, but I'm so, so happy with it. Can we just appreciate the little detailing of the little birdie on there? I'm just so thrilled with it. So it's got gold hardware, it's got um, velvet like leather here for the shoulder so it doesn't hurt your shoulder. You can have it long if you want to or you can just have it on the crook of your arm. It's nice and spacious inside. We've got two compartments. Uh, is there a zip? There's no, no, there's no zip but there's like little, little sections like little i was gonna say flaps that sounds weird but you know what i mean little compartments um and i oh, i'm just in love with it now don't get me wrong this is not like your day-to-day -day handbag i'm not going to be taking this to work but for date nights going out for dinner that kind of thing this is coming with me because i'm just absolutely in love now in terms of cost this was 105 pounds um it was nearly 200 pounds so it was in the sale i got a saving like i say i had my little bit of savings that i knew i was taking away with me that i probably would have spent on makeup anyway so now i've got my gorgeous purple velvet kensington bag i'm utterly obsessed with it so yeah that was that was the first item that i bought from the airport and then the only other let me just pop pop her, pop her back in her dust bag keep us safe so yeah the only other thing that i bought from the airport was um a perfume i actually got a duo pack of issy issy mayaki you can see there odor issy um this was like a duo travel pack and it worked out cheaper to buy the two than 
one on its own which is bizarre but anyway i got the duo I haven't got the packaging for this one because i use this one whilst we're on holiday and it's always nice to get a perfume at the airport because that then becomes your signature scent for your holiday i've always got like a scent for a trip away um for instance vegas will forever be calvin klein euphoria for me um and i wanted a new one for new york and so i used to wear this all the time sort of 10 plus years ago and i smelt it and i fell back in love with it and so yeah and also the travel pack is good because these are a nice handbag size um so yes yeah, so i've got two 25 mil sized issy mayaki perfumes that's all i bought from the airport chris bought an aftershave that he'd been after for a while um and that was it that's what we got from the airport now moving on to sweeties um not much we didn't bring much back to be honest we bought a couple of bags of Cheetos back, but you can buy these in Costco now here. So it's kind of like taken the shine off a bit, like the novelty's gone, so I can get these whenever. But still bought a couple of packs back because, you know. Um, so we bought some Cheetos. Chris got a couple of packets of these. These are his favourite sweetie from America. So if anybody's going to America soon, and can get their hands on some Jolly Rancher sweets, then let me know and I'll send you some money because there is absolute favourite sweet. Um, and then my favourite sweet, which echo the mint poppets that I love, Junior Mints. Love Junior Mints. <laughs> and they're, they're my favourite sweet when we go to America, Junior Mints. So I've got a couple of packets of those. Um, and that's it that's it for goodies so i got a couple of items of clothing this time around and uh, i went to old navy they had a sale on here's my massive receipt for two items that i got um but yeah they had a sale on and i bought two things such a good deal so the first item is i got these stretchy comfy trousers but they're like bootleg a bootleg back in now because i saw so many bootleg trousers out there um is, are they come back in fashion like i used to wear bootleg trousers all the time in like the noughties um but yeah these are like bootleg bootleg lounge trousers so i intend to just wear these around the house uh, and these were in the sale so they were 34.99 i got them for i think they were like seven dollars something um doo -doo -doo. high waisted split flare lounge pants Six ninety seven, six dollars ninety seven, from thirty four ninety nine. That's insane. Anyway, got some comfy, comfy trousers, and then the next item. I love this. Uh, I've tried it on already. Fits lovely. It's going to go in my wardrobe, ready for the spring and summer. But I bought um, a dress, so no doubt you will be seeing me wearing this when the weather starts to turn a bit nicer it is a midi dress it's a black midi dress with a stretched waistband it's got pockets it's v-neck it's got little cap sleeves it's just the perfect summer black dress that you could ever want and this was seven dollars 97 it was 49.99 so 50 dollars nearly and i got it for seven dollars 97 such a bargain so those are my items of clothing that i got the next thing is i wanted something christmasy to bring back just to remember that we'd been to new york at christmas time and kim got these and i'd already had my eye on these and when kim bought them i was like i, I just knew that i needed them so these are doves of friendship these are the turtle doves so if you're a fan of home alone 2 which is set in new york and he gets turtle doves and he gives one to the lady the pigeon lady can't remember her name now but he gives her a turtle dove and he keeps one and they're friends forever and yeah i just knew i had to get these so these were from a store called the christmas cottage i think it's the only store that you're able to get these from it's like a whole big christmas shop um they used to be i can't remember what street they're on for love nor money but they were opposite our hotel um the time that we went to park central um but they've moved but they've literally only moved down the road so when we got there we were like oh, 
they're not there but you literally just walk like five shops down and they've moved to a bigger shop uh, but anyway these were quite expensive these were 28 dollars i think funnily enough everything in this shop was reduced by 50 percent apart from these funny that because they're the big sellers aren't they <laughs> they're what people want so they're not going to reduce them um but nevertheless can't talk nevertheless i'm very happy that i got them and they will be put on the tree next year and they will remind us of our trip to new york okay last but not least bath and body works however i've had to take everything out of here because something leaked and they leaked onto Chris's coat, so that's in the wash now, which he was very thrilled about. Uh, but the receipt is still in here, um, but I've still got the bag just to, to show you. And it smells lovely. Um, but I've put everything into this other bag now, so... Oh my god, it's so heavy. <laughs> it's so heavy. So we spent... I'll tell you how much we spent in Bath and Body Works. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We spent $83.30. That's quite a lot, isn't it? However... Um, we had a discount of $83.60. So everything was half price. In fact, something was more than half price because we spent less than the discount. Um, so yeah, what what did we get? Well, let's, let's make this super speedy because there is a lot of stuff in here. So we got some hand washes. Love a Bath & Body Works hand wash. And I know you can get them from Next here in the UK, but it's quite pricey at next they inflate the prices of the bath and body work stuff and so well, i guess i mean everything was half price so these were like three dollars or something um so we got the same one we've got paradise coconut love a coconut hand wash in the bathroom so we've got some hand washes chris bought some um body washes the male body washes because he loves them so he bought which one is the one that leaked i think it was the ocean one um so yeah he got an ocean one yeah you can see it leaked a little bit so he bought the ocean one which smells lovely and then he bought two of the teak woods because this one's his favorite so he got two of those running out of space to put everything and then i got a couple of shower gels again they're the same because i smelt them and i love them so i got two of them i got frosted coconut snowball this is just oh it smells like the wahiki spray that i've got but it's just in a shower gel but obviously they've repackaged it as a frosted snowball coconut snowball for winter so i'm very happy with those and then sticking with the seasonal um scents i got a winter candy apple moisturizing body wash i smelt the spray of this like the tall one and i was like that is so nice it's sold out completely of the big bottles of this and so i picked up the body wash thinking well I'll get my fix that way. So I got the body wash and then I walked further around the store and then they've got a section where they do the mini versions, but they're like three for two. And they had the scent, the winter candy apple, mist, fine fragrance mist. So I got three for two of those. So I've essentially got a big bottle and a half now. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got those. It just, I can't even, what does it smell like? Let's it's sweet yet floral if that makes any kind of scent scent sense <laughs> i also got a body cream because i smelt this and again just fell in love with it this is pear berry a pear bed pear berry body cream now i love joe malone english pear and freesia as a scent and this is like that but in a body cream but it's more like you don't get the floral notes there's no freesia in it obviously you do you do you kind of can smell berries but i can also smell pears so um yeah i got a body cream and then the last few bits are we got some antibacterial hand gel so chris got two of the bourbon ones because he liked the smell of them and then i got the um gingham the gingham one just to keep in my handbag and then the last item i didn't buy any candles i could have and they had a candle in there that was French baguette. I never thought that I would like a candle that smelt like bread, but it was very nice. Um, but haven't bought any candles. The reason being is that Chris is suffering a lot with allergies at the moment. And so having a candle burning is setting him off. Um, plus with mum having the pneumonia and she's having to have 
inhalers and stuff just can't have candles burning at the moment so didn't buy any candles still have a stash of candles anyway that can burn later um but um in the meantime i got my favorite candle ever in a room spray so this is marshmallow fireside but in a room spray and um if i fancy a little bit of a you know a smell of a candle i'll spray this in the bedroom <laughs> and um i'll be transported back to burning my marshmallow fireside candle that i absolutely love so yeah got a room spray and that's it that is it for bath and body works 83 dollars worth of stuff which could have been so much more oh chris bought some lego but i don't have it to hand it's downstairs he's already built two of the items that he bought so he bought a new york taxi which is already put on display <laughs> and he bought the haunted mansion like a mini haunted mansion which is already built um but i did i bought something in lego yeah because i just thought it was very cute i bought myself a luggage tag look how cute that is statue of liberty lego luggage tag hello i really like that <laughs> so um that's my new luggage tag for my suitcase and then last but not least i bought myself a new york times a new york times which is dated saturday december 31st 2022 so i got myself a new year's eve newspaper and my theory behind this is because we were there for new year's eve i thought it was quite memorable but i'm going to put this in a frame i'm going to put some pictures around it of our trip to new york i thought that would be quite cool um so yeah, I mean, what are the headlines in the New York Times on New Year's Eve? Six years worth of Trump taxes show big losses. Skewed polling washed away. Uh, 2022 was the year the music stopped on Wall Street. You know, all the big headlines. <laughs> but anyway, I bought myself a paper. How much is it? It was $3. $3 for a New York Times, if you're interested. Um, but anyway, that's it. That's everything that we got from New York. I hope you enjoyed that little haul and uh, well little haul it's quite a big haul really wasn't it um but no makeup and no candles shock horror um but nevertheless i hope you've enjoyed thank you for watching don't forget to watch the final new york vlog on wednesday i hope you enjoy that and um yeah thanks for all the support on them and i'm really glad that you've enjoyed them and uh, yeah i'll see you guys in the next one